Okay, I wanted to give you a little update about the KRKs because I did a review on them. They, this one started to have the famous buzz out of the tweeter. And what it ended up being, I'll pull up a uh, thing here. KRK Rocket 5 G2 Buzz. All right. So after doing some research and looking around, I found out, this guy did a video too, it is uh, this capacitor right here on the G2 boards, okay? It's a 35 volt, 1000 microfarad capacitor. Um, both of them, this one was bad. This one was buzzing pretty loud out of the tweeter. This one was still fine. I replaced both of them just to keep it evened out. Plus this one kind of was getting noisy, but not too bad. Now listen to them. There is no buzz at all when you're not playing anything. So how I did that <clears throat> is I have the parts. I just threw them in my toolkit. I just ordered a bag of 10 of them from Amazon. Um, they're just a bunch of 35 volt, 1000 microfarad capacitors. They were like $5.88. Now I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, but they're cheap and they're not the right. They're not the same as the other ones. They're the same rating. And honestly, uh, for the price I paid for these, if one of them ends up blowing, I can just throw another one of these in there. But typically, capacitors, when they're being used for audio filtering, like in this case, um, it is really hard to blow them out. The reason these start buzzing is because they're around, I believe, sorry for the voice crack there, holy crap. These came out on, I can pull them up on Amazon. These were first available in da, 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 first available in 2001. So they are 15, 16 years old. Uh, I think these ones were from 2003 is when these ones were manufactured. So the capacitors just dry out over time, which is fine, whatever. Um, you know, it just happens. So it is that capacitor, when you look at it, that is this one right here on the board. You'll have these two big ones. It's not this one here. That one is fine. It will be this guy right here, and that will fix the buzzing from the uh, tweeters on these. So there you go. Um, hopefully that will help some of you guys because I've seen videos out for the G1s, but I've never seen any out for the G2s. Um, but I watched someone's video on the G1, and... And the amp boards looked fairly similar, and when I opened it up, I looked at the tracks on the board, and yes, those are the filters for the high frequency. So, buying those new capacitors will make your KRKs sound perfect again. Alright, well, um, hopefully this helped some of you guys, and uh, if it did, leave a like. Um, so, I will see you guys next time. Peace out, dudes.